Ladies, I'm going to let you know the biggest lie that men ever tell women. Are those his real teeth? Is that a filter? This looks like a filter, It right? looks like a filter to me, yeah. Video's already off to a bad start. <laughs> I'm bringing it from the straights. Strap in, it's going to be a bumpy ride. And fellas, I'm apologising for divulging this information, but they need to know. So when a bloke turns around and says, yeah, I don't like psychotic women, mentally unstable women. All my exes were like it. He drove me mad. I just want a nice, calm, homely girl that cooks, cleans, runs me a bath when I come in from work. Don't drive me mad when I go out with the boys. It's all bollocks. We want you to go nuts. We love the unpredictability of it. It arouses us. It gives us an erection. Yeah? The homely girls will always get cheated on. The psychos, we always come back. There's your answer. We can't sleep well at night not knowing that the fact we could be woken up at three o'clock in the morning with hands around our throat going, who's this bitch? We love it. So keep on being psycho and you'll always get the D. You might get a restraining order on the side of it, but we'll always break that and come back. Take care, bye bye now. So just to give you some context, I saw this video today on TikTok and I was sitting here thinking, is this true? I had to send this to Michael to get the mail confirmation before I start turning psycho to try and keep a man. So I'm intrigued to hear Michael's response now. This guy is chatting shit. Okay, there is nothing worse than a woman that is on your case all the time. I'm telling you now, you know me. You know I'm not gassing. I cannot stand women that behave in the way he is saying. He is talking to young boys who are probably looking for the thrill of some crazy chick, keeping them on their toes day in, day out. But for me personally, and for the men that I know, I am too busy to be dealing with some psychopath who is going to be taking up my time. There's too many things that go on in my day for me to also deal with a crazy girl. That will affect my money. It will probably affect my mental health. It will affect my opportunities because the amount of time somebody that is crazy takes up when you're actually trying to build a relationship with them is actually ridiculous. I've dealt with crazy girls. I would never date a crazy girl again in my life. The thing is, is that I feel like there is some men out there that genuinely do prefer the crazy woman because I don't know that some men like attitude. Any man that prefers an actual psycho like someone that is keeping them up in the middle of the night someone that is stalking them on everything someone that's doing like generally weird shit doesn't have much going on in their lives there's no way that you can truly be a, a busy person or a busy man with loads of responsibilities throughout the day and duties to fulfill and also look forward to chaos when you get home absolutely yeah. not like, there's a difference between a spontaneous spunky girl and a psycho the girl yeah. that he's describing that might work for a 19 year old Mm. That does not work for grown men. He hasn't revealed any secrets here. This is just, this is nonsense. This is for people that don't have a lot of shit going on in their day. They probably go to work and they come home. And I'm not knocking anyone yeah. for that. But for anyone that is about their business, that is doing their job, they've got their side hustles, they've got side projects, they've got other responsibilities to take care of. Maybe they've got dogs, they've got a social life. Nobody wants to be dealing with a psycho as well. Yeah, some people just love drama though. This is one thing I'll say, like, you know, when you talk to someone new, how they talk talk about their ex-partner says a lot if a guy was just completely bashing his ex-partner or ex-partners should I say I wouldn't like that because I'll think to myself why are you making out that these women are all the problem and also as well you're down talking on someone I'd rather somebody that just had nice things to say about their partner or just don't talk about your partner at all because it just shows that level of respect whereas when they will literally trash talk someone it puts me off because then I think you could talk about me like that one day or you could potentially be the problem which is why you think all of these women are the problem like what have you done to make these girls go so crazy that's the way I look at it anyway yeah this video is titled the biggest line men tell you it's not it's really not it is only true for people that have not got stuff going on in their lives and I'm not knocking people for maybe not filling your time I'm sure you will at some point, but I'm 30 years old. I cannot be dealing with psychotic women. Mm. I have dealt with psycho girls before. It is not fun. Mm. You don't know if you're going to wake up and your car's been keyed or your dog's going to be in the washing machine. You don't know left from right at that point. You don't know if you're coming home to poison. You don't know if you're going to have to sleep with one eye shut. It's not fun. And mm. it doesn't give you an erection. If anything, it, it sends you the other way. That is a complete turn off. There's nothing worse than coming home from a long day's work or doing whatever you were doing, wanting to sit down, turn on the PlayStation 5 with a cup of tea, stick on whatever game you want to play. And then there's some psycho in your ear talking shit. 
See, this is what I was thinking, and I was thinking to myself, there's no way that can be true, but at the same time, this is what I'm saying, I do feel like there is some men that just do, they do like it. Yeah, there, there are some men that do like it, and those men have not got enough going on in their days. Mm -hmm. That's why they are excited by the idea of somebody giving them something new to do. Yeah. Because psychotic girls will always find some new shit to get on your case for. I don't have the time to deal with that shit. If I get with a girl and I see a red flag, being 30 years old, if I see a red flag, I'm out immediately. Mm -hmm. There's no there's no time to be wasted because I know investing time in a girl like that is just going to cost me money and opportunities. Yeah. And I'm saying that as somebody that has done it before. I'm not talking from a high and mighty standpoint. I've been with psychotic girls before. No, this guy, <laughs> this guy is full of it. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it works for some men. It definitely doesn't work for me. There's no way I can be doing this YouTube channel, doing another YouTube channel, going to work, doing the things I do on the side, dealing with my family. I've got dogs. I've got other responsibilities. And I've also got to deal with a psycho. Absolutely not. So you heard it here first. Don't be psycho. No, no, they didn't hear it here first. Any man <laughs> worth his salt already knows this. If there's a guy that comments on this video saying that he, does, he prefers psychotic girls, then he is either looking to fill some time or he's literally just talking about sex. He's just talking about sex. I think that's what a lot of guys refer to when they're talking about psycho girls, which is also not entirely true either. It's just like, it's just a like a stereotype. Yeah, it's at this still point. irrelevant though. It, you, no, no one wants to deal with that shit. Yeah, no one wants to. I would take the homie girl any day of the week. Mm. You, you got that on record. Any same person should realistically. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I ain't got time to deal with that shit.